Hi, welcome. I'm Lindsay, and today I have a quick yoga workout for you that's going to target your legs, specifically your glutes and your thighs, help them get stronger, more toned, and more flexible. So let's get started in table pose. So come on to hands and knees with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And from here, bring your right foot forward in between your hands and come all the way up and stay in a conservative lunge. So 90 degrees, ankle underneath your right knee and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Get a nice stretch, be long and tall in your body and then start to lean forward with your hips. Squeeze your glutes as you do this. Reach your left arm up a little bit higher you should feel a nice stretch through the front of your body, the front of your left hip, and on down through your left thigh. You might wanna walk your right foot a little bit further so you can get a little bit deeper of a lunge, but keep squeezing your glutes, reach your arm up even higher, and then take your left arm to your outer right thigh, right hand to your right hip. Press your left arm into your thigh and twist to the right side. So you control how deeply you twist by how strongly you press your left arm into your right thigh. So nice twist, stay nice and tall. Good, then come back to center, hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off of the floor. Squeeze your left thigh. Press your hands into the ground, reach your chest forward. Good, and keep your left hand on the ground. Take your right arm up to the sky. So open up into a twist and make sure that you don't dump your left hip down. So keep your left hip lifted. Reach your right arm up, pull your right shoulder down away from your ear. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, take your right hand to the ground. Good, take your left knee down and start to reach your hips back and begin to straighten through your right leg. Flex your right foot, spread your toes wide. It's okay if you have a little bit of a bend here. We're targeting a stretch through the back of your right thigh. So really flex through your right foot, spread your toes, and tilt your hips forward, like you're trying to tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Good, full breath in, exhale out, and then bend your right knee again, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee into a lunge. And then again, begin to straighten through your right leg. It's okay if it doesn't straighten all the way. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward to square your hips off towards the front. And same thing as before, tilt your hips forward like you're trying to tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. You'll feel even more of a stretch under your right thigh. Good, bend your right knee, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Slight bend in your knees, belly to your thighs, and release your head and neck. Good, full breath in. And exhale out. Hands to your hips, squeeze your shoulder blades together and come all the way up to standing. Shift your weight into your right leg and you're gonna grab your left ankle for a stretch through the front of the thigh. So as you get yourself balanced, pull your left knee in towards your right knee, pull your thigh back, and then at the same time, squeeze your glutes. That'll extend the hips and really stretch through the front of your left thigh. And continue doing that. Pull your left knee in a little bit closer to your right knee, pull the thigh back, squeeze your glutes, let your hips come forward a little bit, and then slowly release out. Take your feet to shoulder distance apart, turn your toes slightly out. We're gonna do a little bit of a squat here. And what I want you to think of first is sending your hips back. So don't even think about bending the knees, just send your hips back, reach your butt back, and then bend the knees, reach your arms forward. So I keep my shins as vertical as possible. The weight is in your heels, keep reaching your butt back, and then straighten your legs. And we'll do that again. From the hips, reach back. Keep the legs straight at first. Reach your butt back, then bend at the knees, reach your arms forward, and then come all the way up. Do that three more times. Hips back, reach your arms forward, bend the knees. Nice low squat, and then straighten the legs. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Back down, hips back. 
reach the arms forward, then bend the knees. Keep your shins vertical as much as you can. Weight in your heels. All the way back up. Last time, hips back. Reach forward, bend the knees. And come all the way back up. Step your feet together. Bend your knees, belly to your thighs, hands to the floor. Forward fold. Step your feet back into plank pose. Keep your fingers spread nice and wide, palms flat on the floor. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your belly. Press the ground away from you with your hands. And then lower back down to your knees, table pose. We'll do the second side. Bring your left foot forward. Come all the way up into a 90 degree lunge. So your left ankle is underneath your left knee. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and really stretch. Be as long as you can through the whole right side of your body. Squeeze your glutes and then start to sink your hips forward into a stretch. You don't need to go too far here. The more you squeeze your glutes, the more your hips extend and the more of a stretch that you'll get. Reach your right arm up even higher. Pull your right arm bone back behind your ear. Squeeze your glutes a little bit more. Maybe sink your hips further down. And then we twist, left hand to your left hip, right arm to the outside of your left thigh. Press your right arm into your thigh to twist open to the left. Draw your belly in, keep your spine nice and tall. And if you need a deeper twist, press your right arm even harder into your leg, twist a little bit deeper. Pull your left shoulder down away from your ear. Relax your face, deep breath in. And exhale, release your hands to the ground. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee into a low lunge. Squeeze your right thigh, make it nice and strong. Press your fingertips down into the ground, reach your chest forward. And then keep your right hand on the ground, reach your left arm up to the sky for a twist. Again, the tendency here is to let your right hip drop down. So keep your right hip lifted. Draw your left shoulder down away from your ear. Press your right hand into the ground. Keep your right arm strong. Draw your belly in towards your spine and twist a little bit more. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, take your left hand down to the ground. Take your back knee down, send your hips back. Begin to straighten through your left leg. Flex your left foot, spread your toes wide. And again, your knee might be straight or might have a little bit of a bend in it. If you need more of a stretch, tilt your hips forward. Your hamstrings attach to your sit bones. So when you tilt your hips forward, tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling, you'll get even deeper of a stretch. Flex your left foot a little bit more, spread your toes a little bit wider. And then bend your left knee again, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee off of the floor. Press your fingertips down, reach your chest forward. And then right foot, oh, excuse me, we're gonna start to straighten through the left leg. Almost forgot this one and it's one of my favorite stretches. Again, you can keep a little bit of a bend in your left knee or if you're able to straighten it all the way out, just make sure you're not straining anything. Square your hips off, so pull your right hip back, left hip forward. Take a nice deep breath in here. Press your fingertips down, reach your chest forward. Be nice and tall and long in your spine. And then bend your left knee. Step your right foot to meet the left forward fold. Bend your knees, belly to your thighs, release your head and neck. Full breath in and take a long, slow exhale out. Do that one more time, full breath in. Slow exhale out. Good, bring your hands to your hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, reach your chest forward, come all the way up to standing. And we'll do our quad stretch on the other side. So shift your weight to your left foot, grab a hold of your right ankle, and then bring your right knee close to your left knee. So if your leg's way out to the side, you won't feel a stretch here. Pull your right knee close to your left, Pull the leg back so that it's in line with the left leg. And then last but not least, squeeze your glutes hard. So you should feel a nice stretch through the front of the right thigh, but not into the knee. So back out of the stretch a little bit if you feel this in your knee. And continue to press your right knee towards your left knee. Pull your thigh back and squeeze your glutes hard. 
then slowly release out of that. We'll do our squats again. So shoulder distance apart, almost as wide as your mat. Turn your toes slightly out to the side. Send your hips back, bend your knees, reach your arms forward. We're gonna hold. So try to keep your shins vertical. You gotta keep reaching your hips back in order to do that. Let the weight be in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes off the floor here. Good, straighten your legs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, we'll do that again. Hips back, bend the knees, reach forward. Full breath in, full breath out. Come back up, we'll do that one more time. Hips back, reach forward, bend the knees, let your weight be in your heels. Be strong in your thighs, but let your upper body be nice and soft. Continue to breathe. Good. Straighten your legs. Come all the way up. Step your feet together, and then bend your knees. Belly to your thighs. Release your head and neck. Fold forward. Place your hands on the ground. Step your feet back into plank pose. Hold for just a moment. Spread your fingers wide. Palms flat on the floor. Reach your heels back. Squeeze your thighs and lower down to your knees. Good, bring your right foot forward. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up. We're gonna come all the way up into a high lunge. Take your hands to your right thigh, slowly come all the way up. You should be in a nice long stance. Keep your hands to your hips. We're gonna lower the back knee down. So lower down and then extend back up and squeeze through the front of your thigh. Squeeze through your left glute. Do that again, lower down and straighten. Squeeze your left leg. One more just like that, lower down. Come back up, squeeze, good. Stay here, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, straighten through your elbows, pull your arm bones back behind your ears. And let's do that again, lower your knee down. Come back up, good. Two more times, lower down. And come back up, squeeze your legs hard on the way up and then lower down one more, and stretch it back up, good. Cactus arms, bend your elbows to the sides, fingers spread wide, squeeze your shoulder blades together so your chest lifts up, and we'll lower the knee down again, lower down, and come back up. Again, lower down, back up, squeeze your leg hard, lower down, and back up, good. Reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling and then reach your torso forward. Keep your arms in line with your ears. Good, hands down to the floor. Step your left foot forward. And then from here, walk your feet out, about as wide as your mat, same stance as before. Turn your toes slightly out, bend your knees, bring your belly to your thighs. From here, we're gonna sink the hips back, reach the arms forward. Go as low as you can, and then straighten the legs. Keep your belly connected to your thighs here. And then do that again. Bend the hips, reach forward. Straighten the legs a little bit. They might still have a bend in the knees. Just make sure your belly's connected to your thighs. Last one, bend the knees, reach forward. Good, straighten the legs, walk the feet in. Hands to the floor, step back into plank pose. Pause here, squeeze your thighs, press back through your heels, press your hands into the ground to really pull away from the floor, and then lower your knees down. We'll do the second side. Bring your left foot forward in between your hands, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, get yourself nice and grounded, and then walk your hands to your left thigh, come all the way up, hands to your hips, Squeeze your glutes really hard here, and then lower your back knee down, and then extend it straight again. Squeeze your right thigh, squeeze your right glute. Do that two more times, lower the knee, knee down, and then straighten it back up. Good, one more time, lower down, and then straighten up. Squeeze your right, right leg, reach your arms up this time, elbows straight, pull your arm bones back behind your ears, and then do it again, lower your knee down, and straighten. Good, remember to breathe, lower your knee down, straighten again, squeeze hard. Last time, lower down, and straighten, good. Bend the elbows, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then do it again. Lower your back knee down, straighten, squeeze your thigh, do it again, lower down, 
and straighten last time lower down and straighten good reach your arms up over your head and then lean your whole body forward reach your arms forward be strong in your legs and then take your hands down to the floor step your right foot forward forward fold from here walk your feet out about as wide as your mat turn your toes slightly out bend your knees connect your belly to your thighs and then we'll lower the hips down reach your arms forward and then hands to the floor begin to straighten your legs and again maybe they straighten all the way maybe they don't but just make sure your belly's still with your thighs lower your hips down again reach forward straighten the legs hands to the floor last time bend the knees reach forward weight is in your heels good stretch the legs straight hands to the floor walk your feet in step your feet back into plank pose be nice and strong here so really squeeze through your thighs press your heels back behind you draw your belly in good lower your knees down to the floor and come to a seated i hope you enjoyed this workout and i'll see you on your mat soon namaste With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv. Get well, feel better.